What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the another uh, player pack review, player pack breakdown. We are going to be taking a look at the Spanish league selection. This is the deluxe pack for May 2023. And you can clear this agent if you so happen to choose so. You've got 11 players. They cost 100 coins each. And for me, I would say there's only about two or three players in here that I would bother really uh, trying to open. Like, it depends on who you who you get in your search. Um, but there are some fairly nice players here, including, you know, this guy. Uh, I think it's Vega. I mean, he, he he's like the Street Fighter guy. You know, remember that guy, Vega? Um, is it Vega or Vega? Let me know in the comments below. I thought it was Vega, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, my pronunciations are, are horrible at times. But anyway, look, we've got Kunde here, and I think Rodrigo uh, Jesus Navas is a fantastic player as well um, when we take a look at him. But the rest of them are kind of a little bit forgettable. Uh, Ronaldo is a good player as well. Um, we'll get a look at him. But yeah, again, it's not going to be a real... Like, if you've got a good squad, these aren't really going to change the dial too much for you. So first up, we have got this guy who can play AMF. Um, we will just take a quick look over on eFootball DB. And look at his stats. So he goes into the mid 80s um, in pretty much everything once he gets a bit of a boost with the player form arrow. But he is on C form and he does only have standard form as well. But you're talking about fairly good dribbling, passing, and acceleration. But to be honest, lads, as a whole player, there's a lot of better players than him there uh, in the game, including standard cards, you know. So I wouldn't be worried too much about him if you were thinking of training him up. We've got a similar issue with David Lopez. This guy is a center back. He doesn't have. Um, unwavering form but he does have blocker and interception with heading and fighting spirit he doesn't have man marking or sliding tackle or aerial superiority he's also not the tallest center back that you could get i mean obviously i would always recommend the likes of rudiger um and let me know as well if you want dedicated training guides and any of these lads as well i will do one or two including kunde um but yeah i mean this guy again is just your run-of-the-mill center back and i don't think he's really worth it we've also got a very run-of-the-mill goalkeeper he's on d form uh Jordi Massip I wouldn't even you know worry too much about him if you do train him you're probably not going to be training him up uh too well because you know you can get his stats into the mid 80s but that's not going to be enough in my opinion for your goalkeeper if you're looking to get anywhere past division five uh we've got Robert Tone here as well this guy's got some really really nice slick player skills as a CMF and as another whole player I'll be playing him as an AMF because he has no defensive qualities whatsoever um, and he has got double touch, he's got first time shot, he's got cut behind and turn, long range curler, he doesn't have one touch pass, which is a bit of a killer for a whole player, especially with the positions that he picks up, and again we see him maxed out here as well, just an example of how to max him out, he is on B form, which is good, um, you can get mid 80s uh, to high 80s with, the, with a lot of the stats, including acceleration, balance, and ball control and tight possession, which is also, also nice. Uh, this guy is a bit of an exciting one for me, because he does have blocker and interception, which I always like on a fullback especially the fact that he's a defensive fullback so i would say that he's our first pick of the pack right he's got blocker interception sliding tackle fighting spirit and man marking and of course he is also a really really fast as well for a defensive fullback a lot of the time with fullbacks lads you will not have a lot of good player skills or else you will have good player skills but not a lot of speed um so this guy kind of breaks the mold a little bit and he can play cb as well I would kind of think of him as like David Alaba. He doesn't have the serious defense um, of David Alaba, uh, but then all his player skills are just absolutely insane. You know, that defensive awareness at 79, even when we train it up a little bit, that's not going to come in to too much of a concern. I mean, especially if we want to leave him at 80 acceleration and we want to leave him at like 80 speed with 81 stamina if we're playing MCB, we can actually pop in a couple of there and we can pop in a couple of there if we want to play him center back and he goes to a 90 overall. So that could be something that a lot of people sleep on. You know, he kind of looks like David Alaba to me um, with 92 aggression, 80 acceleration, and he's able to play out a little bit as well as a defensive full back. With those player skills, that is an insanely good card. So if you do spin him, don't sleep on him. He's a very good pick if you are looking for something different. We also have Borja Iglesias. Borja Iglesias, this guy is a fantastic super sub to have. Plays way above his stats. I've played with him on my Xbox account quite a bit. Now, he does only go to a 90 overall here with this um, with this training guide. He is a target man. Super sub is a big a big thing with him, and also the fact that he's got so many player skills here for shooting, including good kick and power, physical contact, balance, and of course, he's fairly tall as well. So you'd be using him as a target man, similar to how I would use Collar, um, and just be getting him onto the end of everything that you possibly can. 
And we also have to throw into that as well. We have David Silva, who I still rate as a really good player because of his unwavering form, because of his A rating. And of course, we also have that all important um, player skills that we need as well, including one touch pass. And of course, weighted pass, outside curler, low lofted pass and heel trick. So there's a lot to like about this card as well. Creative playmaker is in a very unusual and unique play style as well. Um, you don't see it that often from players um, that are kind of this good, I would say, on the ball. You know, usually creative playmakers have excellent passing, but the dribbling and the acceleration is a little bit lower. So obviously there's a load of exceptions to the rule, but I do like Silva, especially when you train him up. You can get him to like a 93 with, you know, ball control, dribbling type possession, low pass and balance all into the like, you know, high 80s, low 90s with acceleration with the boost about 82. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, and then on to kind of like the guys that I would be really recommending to get, right? So the three that I would really pick out of this are Koundé, um, Rodrigo and this guy, um, Rinaldo, right? So there'd be the three that I would pick. Rodrigo is a very kind of interesting one as well because there's a lot of wingers in the game. Um, but there's, you know, the fact that this guy has got super sub is extremely nice. And I like the fact that he does have super sub. Now his rating uh, this week is C and he is on standard form. So that is a bit of a pity. Um, and there has been better versions of him released already. So this 83 rated version of him from the Spanish league we're looking at is practically identical to the Derby Day one that they released. Um, so if you already have that, I mean, it's just plus three and dribbling and minus three in offensive awareness. I mean, it's basically the exact same card. Um, but I do like the card, lads. I do think that it is a good card. The standard edition goes to 32 levels, which isn't bad. Um, and I do like the Roman flank play style as well, if you're able to use that instead of the prolific winger. And again, you've got your dribbling, your acceleration, and your balance all into the 90s once you get that form arrow boost. And to be honest, I don't even be using players when they have the form arrow boost. Um, if you're, you know, unless they're like epics or legends, or unless you have a, a dedicated squad builder that you have done, right? So we also have... Um, uh, Jesus Navas here, very good player as well, unwavering form. One of my favorite players when I first started playing the game, actually, because he was so uh, interchangeable that you could play him anywhere, utility player. And as you can see there, he can play left wing, right wing, left back, uh, or right back, left mid, or right mid. And he's also got really, really nice player skills with one touch pass, pinpoint crossing, and he's got early crosser, as well as fighting spirit with unwavering form. So again, he's a good player, goes to 91 with this. And again, you've got all the stats that you could possibly want with this card, especially if you want to train him a bit defensively. Him and um, uh, Reynildo, this guy here, they can be trained in multiple ways. So we might do a little cross training guide for the two of those, okay? Uh, let me know if you want training guides for any of these players. And then last but not least, we have Kunde and Danny Pareo. This guy is very interesting as well. He's got a lot of skills that are kind of lacking, um, I would say, for a player that goes this highly rated. Like, he does have double touch and one touch pass, Way to pass, true pass, pinpoint cross, and low lofted um, as an orchestrator. But I do feel like he's missing a couple of shooting uh, player skills for a player that goes to like a 96th uh, rating. So we do have him trained up here as a 95. And you can see there that the pass and the ball control, everything is, is, is insane. Um, very similar to the card that they released um, with this, this one here that had only had six levels to go when you train him up. But the thing I do like about this card is, of course, the fact that you know exactly what you're getting with him from an orchestrator. So you're kind of thinking him as like a slower based version of the likes of De Bruyne or somebody like that, um, or Kimmich, that's able to get into those pockets of space. And then last but not least, we do have the beast Kunde. Now, I will do a training guide on Kunde because there's two very unique ways to train him. One is a center back and one is a right back. And I do like this guy, Kunde, lads. He's been a mainstay in my squad all up along, unwavering form, B rating. And of course, we've also got heading, man marking, interception, blocker, aerial superiority, sliding tackle, acrobatic clearance, and fighting spirit. Insane player skills for a player that also goes fairly high on the stats. You've got 90 awareness. This is just kind of like a, a blended uh, center back version of him. We've still got our 80 acceleration with 89 jump. And of course, we also have 90 defensive awareness, tackling, aggression, and defensive engagement are also going to be very, very good there as well. And he's able to play a little bit. 71 tight possession and 73 low pass is quite decent with these player skills. But again, I would say if you have the French version of him, um, the French version was slightly better, I would say, in my opinion. And this pack was also good as well. So that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. I'm getting rung by the boss now, so I got to go. But anyway, that is it for me. I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.